So in this section, we're about to install Devlake while Docker Compose. The first step is to create a local folder called Devlake, and then download the two important files from our website or be provided from our team member. Um, the first step is to rename m.example to .env. And then the installation is really just one command, um, docker compose up dash D. This usually will take a while if you're downloading these images for the first time, but because I already have them cached, so it's instant for me. And in our Docker um, Mac doc, Docker desktop, we can see the containers are up and running within a few seconds. And lastly, to verify that we have successfully fired up everything, we can visit our config UI in our browser at localhost 4000. This is the installation part. Next, I'm going to demo how to set up Jira and GitHub data connections and create a blueprint to collect data from these two data sources. So these parts. So first, let's start with Jira. Add a data connection here. Here, I'm going to give it a name, that like Jira. And then I need to fill in the endpoint URL. And my Jira email. And my API token. And test the connection to make sure it's working. And then save this connection. Next up, we're going to create a connection for GitHub. Also add a connection here. This is just uh, github.com. And the API URL is just the api.github.com. And because GitHub has a very low rate limit, um, it's 5,000 hours per API request per hour per token. We're going to add multiple person access token here to help that like speed up the collection speed. I'm going to add five tokens here. Okay, and then again, test connection and save this connection. Now we have set up these two data source connections. We're going to create a blueprint. This is actually a plan for how we want to collect uh, the data from these two data sources. So I'm going to add these two data connections that we just created. Okay, next step. First for Jira, uh, we can select which board we want to collect. Let's collect the DevLake board. And then for github.com, let's collect the uh, small repository that belongs to Devlake. Cubator, Devlake, this is our website repository. Okay, next step. And then here we can define some data transformation rules. For example, for GitHub, we can specify uh, from the, uh, you know, which GitHub issue label corresponds to um, which type of issues. Um, for example, let me configure um, issues with label bug. They are, they correspond to type bug. And then save this setting. And then for Jira, we also have some transformation rules we can set up. Um, let's say, set up the bug. And then also set up, tell that like, which custom field corresponds to Epic which custom fields corresponds to story point and then safety setting as well. 
And the next step, this is where we set up the sync frequency. Um, and I'll make it weekly here. Click save and run now. We'll start our first pipeline. As you can see here, we have the Jira and GitHub tasks we just created. Um, and then also this extra Git extractor task automatically created by DevLake uh, to speed up the process, the collection process uh, for information within the Git repository. So as you can see, all three tasks are running now. And then we just need to wait for them to finish. And then we'll have data in our database. And then we can go to our dashboard to see some pre uh, pre on uh, dashboards. So the Git extractor has been completed. Still waiting for GitHub and Jira tasks. So GitHub is completed. Since it's going to take a while, maybe we'll just you know, go to dashboard and then see that we have uh, GitHub data in our dashboard. So go to dashboard. First time you will need to set new password. Here I'm just setting to admin admin and then go to manage to see all of our previous dashboards. Scroll down to find the GitHub basic metrics. And then you can see we already have data from the website repository that we just collected. 